Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. Um, so today I am going to do um, my black milk haul that I have. I didn't actually realise how much I have. Uh, this is going to take a very long time, because um, as I was pulling it I was like, oh yeah, I have, I have a problem. Um, so it's a bit of a range of everything. Um, I will try to remember what collection it came from. Um, and then in the description box, I will uh, put in the description of the item and how much. Most of this stuff is sold out. Um, they occasionally will bring back certain things. Um, it just depends. But um, I thought today, since you know I already showed you my Sailor Moon collection, I will show you the whole black milk that I have at the moment. Um, I've got stuff from the Witcher line, uh, Pokemon line, and then just some of their other their own stuff that they do. Um, I've got from dresses to overalls to active wear, which I love their active wear. Um, so yeah, so come and join me um, and come try on these clothes with me. I don't know where to begin with all this. Um, to give you an idea of uh, how intense this stuff is, um, that pile down there is everything that I own at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to try to go through it um, uh, as the best as I can um, and see how we go. Uh, I might start with the active wear. Um, I've just put on a um, bodysuit underneath just to make things a little bit easy getting changed and stuff. Um, so some things um, will look better without the bodysuit but it just helps with me getting changed. So, okay, first up we've got some three-quarter leggings and a crop. Um, so one thing I do like about um, all the black milk stuff when it comes to active wear they all have pockets, um, which is great. Um, there's These are a small and a small, um, which if there's a lot of compression in them, they do have padding, uh, which is great for me who don't have any boobs. But it's a nice little leopard print gold. Um, they have adjustable straps. Um, little detailing but yeah these are matching leggings um, and I'm pretty sure these are swap proof so they are lovely um, I got these during a sale and stuff like that um, they don't have a huge range of active wear but um, they have some pretty crazy designs um, I've got one that I always get compliments on which I will put that on soon but this is the first one Next one is my rainbow tiger print um, and just a basic black crop. Um, this one it's not sitting properly because it needs to be readjusted but the detail is in the back. It's got all this cool crisscrossy um, which is all tangled at the moment because it is fun trying to get on. Um, but yeah and then we got these cool little tiger rainbows and like I said pockets padding small and a small um, I range at a size 10 I don't know what that's the Australian I don't know what it would be in America um, they do the color does fade when they get stretched but I still think these are well scope proof so yeah um, I do have one pair of leggings that isn't, unless you wear tan underneath. Um, but, okay. So these are the next leggings. Um, I have an obsession with leopard print. So these are just a plain little leopard print. Um, pockets, as I said. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, which I don't, I think it's come off on these ones. Um, but... I know it's on the back. They all got a bit of a a black milk label somewhere 
on the leggings. Um, so I don't think this one has it. Nope. Then again, I do wear these quite often, so that might have come off in the wash. But yep, um, I've just left the same crop on. Yeah, I don't know if these are completely scrop proof. But yeah, so nice little leopard print. These are full length leggings. Oh. Um, so yeah. And here is my last lot of active wear. Um, so it's like a, a pinky, purpley colour. Um, these are the ones that I don't think will be squat proof because um, they are quite light um, but you can wear tan underwear. Um, I usually do wear these when I'm doing upper body um, and this is a crop so nice little detailing um, just plain little crossbar and then yeah so that's them oh and I these are three quarters <laughs> I'm not very flexible um, but yeah so that's them um, all my active wear are all smalls so small in the pants small in the top um, I'm not gifted on top so I can fit um, I do have very broad shoulders so sometimes these type of crops really hurt along uh, my neck and shoulders so I tend to not wear them all the time but yeah so that is the active wear. Um, I'm dreading the next lot of stuff. Yay! Um, so I'll try to do a bit more of the. I was gonna say casual, but I don't have a lot of casual of stuff of black milk. But we'll start with the casual stuff. Um, so this next jumper is from <coughs> their Care Bears. I nearly forgot they're now called Care Bears line. So they did a collab with Care Bears. Um, so you got all the Care Bears down here. On the top um, it's more of a lightweight I tend to use this as a I'll just throw up throw it on if I'm quickly going down the street or going to class or something like that um, it's not very thick um, so it's quite thin I think you can actually nearly see through so it's not super thick but it's just a cool little um, throw on I have pockets which is even better um, I got this in a medium because I kind of wanted it to be baggy so I can just chill in um, also it does still have a hood if you want it which is completely oh can't even see myself <laughs> got all that Care Bears all in the lining um, it's only in the hood not down there but yeah it's just a nice little light throw on um, I actually wear it quite a lot, um, just around the house and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's um, very well done. It feels great. Like it's, I don't know if it's the jersey material, um, but it's very, very soft on the K. So keeping on a bit of the casual theme, um, this some of this stuff is going to be part of their Pokemon range. And then I've got um, another overall set that is just part of their essentials that they sell pretty much all the time. So first we're starting off with my Charizard, Charmander, all that um, overalls. My brain had a, uh, a fart then and I couldn't think of what it was called. Um, so this is their little overall set. Um, you would have seen it in my Sailor Moon. Same type of thing, same material. They have the pockets and everything. I absolutely love the feel of this stuff um, and here's the cutest thing you'll ever see in your life so if you take it down you've got little sleeping Charmander he is so cute I am obsessed with this I wear this quite a lot um, and then I have which I didn't put in the pile and I just remembered it I bought this um, it's one of the it's kind of like that <laughs> Sailor Moon um, bodysuit that I brought where I don't know where I'm gonna wear it I think I've worn it once it's just very standout piece. So, oh, it is this bomber jacket. It is thick though, so it's really, really warm. But I haven't quite gone anywhere to wear this or anything like that. But it has a Pikachu on the back. It's really, really comfy. You've got your pockets. 
just red. Um, got little poker balls in the lining. But yeah, it's really, really thick. Um, it's something that I probably should sell, but I don't want to because it's sold out. I don't think you can actually get this anymore. But yeah, um, it's got all the details. A zip for another pocket there. But yeah, it's it's like like a like a puffer jacket. I probably should start wearing it more in winter since we're in winter now. But yeah, so that's the other one I totally forgot that I had in my wardrobe. Um, yeah, so it's really cute. I'm actually probably I think I've worn this particular look out with the overalls up though. I think once. <laughs> in Ballarat, where I'd probably stand out like a sore thumb in a country town. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Okay, so next we have another Pokemon. Uh, I should have mentioned uh, the first two that I put on uh, from the first round of collection they did. They've done two collabs with them. Um, I used to have a lot more from the first club, but I actually sold quite a lot of it. Because when I brought it, I was actually a bit bigger, so I was the size medium. But now they were too big, so I did sell them. This one and the next piece is from the second collection that they did um, so this is actually a little um, overall dress I I think this is absolutely cute um, so that's the print so it's um, a lot of Pokemon that I don't actually uh, really know because I only know the first generation um, but it's just it's really cute. There is some that I recognise. Like you got, it's all the fire types. So um, there is Charmander floating around. So it's all fire types. But yeah, so it's a little cutie, nice and. There's no pockets with this one. Um, but as I said, um, and this one doesn't have a pretty design or anything. It's just a straight up little overall dress. Um, yeah, it's really really cute. Um, and he is shorts like I said same print as before so very all the little fire types let's bring that down a little bit all the little fire types um, these do have pockets so these ones do uh, one thing I do like about their shorts compared to their overall ones is that they are seem a little bit longer um, at the bottom I find that the overalls tend to um, <coughs> pull them up and then I end up having my butt hang out, which you can wear these shorts, but I do like that I can just move them down a little bit. Um, they are very stretchy. These are a small too. So like I said, these have heaps of room um, to move. Um, the dress that it was before was a small too. Um, yeah, oh, they, they absolutely feel so good. Um, wait till I get to the dresses there. I... <laughs> I can't get over it. My friends have worn half of uh, my dresses before because they're just that nice. But yeah. Okay, next we have, this is actually something they just stock all the time. Um, it's a just a yellow and black um, tartan overall set. Um, they do have the tartan pants um, in this print. Um, and I think they do have it in the red too. Um, but yellow is my favourite colour. So had to get the yellow. Um, this is a medium. This is, I brought quite a few years ago. It was one of my first ever black milk um, purchases. Um, as you can tell, it's it's a bit it's a bit more baggier in certain areas, but I don't want to get rid of it. It's the same gist. It's got the pockets and everything. And because it is a medium, I find it I got a bit more room down here. Adjustable. But yeah, so that is this one. Um, this is pretty much in stock all the time. It's part of their essential collection, so um, it's not a collab or anything like that. But yeah, it's very cute. Um, it's an item you can either dress up or dress down. I have worn like black tights and black boots with it, um, and a long sleeve top, or you can just wear something short and wear it with sneakers. So something you can um, either wear dressed up or dressed down. So this next one is actually part of their Halloween collection they did um, last year. Um, I brought it as a, for dress up. Uh, me and Shay went to Fright Nights at Movie World. Um, so if you've seen the previous video of us filming that, um, I wore this and it was from Black Milk. Um, I, 
I love it. <laughs> but yeah, it's something you would only wear for a dress up scenario. Um, it is full length. I just put on my rip off Duck, Duck Martens, did some scary makeup and chucked my hair up. Um, but yeah, so this is where the bodysuit came in handy because you can see everything in this one. Feels great. It's got all its dress. This is a small. Um, but yeah, so not something good wear out and about. Well, I couldn't, um, but I know people would. But yeah, I, I like the concept. This is great for Halloween. Dressing up without dressing up, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so um, so now I'm gonna probably for a couple of these items lay them together. But the whole outfit is technically um, black milk. So I have this lovely bodysuit um, and a leather skirt. Um, so I think the bodysuit was part of their wasteland collection I can't remember if the leather skirt was a part of it or a different collection but um, it's just a nice little it's actually quite thick the leather skirt I just like it has a bit of a split so you got a bit of movement in it um, there's actually if I can remember there it is it's actually a pocket how convenient is that just put your phone in there well it won't fit a whole phone but you can put like money and stuff in there um, it's quite nice this bodysuit is also a leopard print. I did tell you I had an obsession. Mine the bodysuit underneath, but it does have all this detailing to crisscross and everything. So that would be bare skin. Um, but it's quite nice. It's a high neck. It is a full zip up. Boy, did I struggle to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna struggle to get out of it. Um, but yeah, so this is a full outfit. I actually have worn this looked together that's why I thought I'd throw it in um, I think I just chucked in some heel boots and that's pretty much it but yeah one thing I forgot to mention about this bodysuit there's no um, clips down there so if you need to pee you have to undo the whole thing um, another thing I find it after a while it ends up um, running up it's the only downfall okay this is another piece that I've um, two pieces that I have put together so we've got a nice little orange tartan skirt and the um, br uh, brace I think they call them um, so I've just put it over my um, bodysuit at the moment but it's a nice little tartan skirt which I think is from their Hall Halloween collection um, and then this is from their Roots 666 collection I'm pretty sure um but yeah there's no pockets or anything like that um it's actually a nice length it's not too short not too long um and then this is a nice little um piece that I've always wanted and I've been putting it with a ton of different outfits at the moment um yeah so it just zips up the back I didn't get it all quite the way because getting in and out of them it's a nightmare as it is but yeah so this is another part of their looks. Um, as you can tell it's a bit more of a uh, gothic emo vibe with some of their stuff but then their collabs that they do um, have some bit of bright colours and stuff. So it's a very mixed um, palette I would say but it's all my palette at the same time. Yeah so that's that one. Okay next we have these gorgeous fake leather pants. Um, these are meant to be a replica of Geralt of Rivia's pants. So this is part of the Witcher line. Um, I think the first collab they did. Um, so yeah, they're the Traveller pants is what they've called them. But yes, they're meant to be a replica of um, Geralt of Rivia's pants. So you see this detail all the way down. Like just so you can get a better look. But yeah, so nice all the way down that is my skin and you can there's plenty of room to adjust how much room you want how tight you want how loose you want it so but yeah so they're these uh, these are a size small um, so yeah and next we have this lovely piece um, so it's kind of like the overall kind of thing but it sits underneath um, the boots little short shorts 
sorry, that is my dog in the background. Um, it has all this detailing on the sides here so you can actually loosen it up thing and change um, how tight and how loose you want it. Um, I wore this with my 90s looking boots, they were epic. But yeah, so just a nice detailing all the way down. They are, they're not too short, but they can be. Um, so if you don't want your ass to come out, probably not for you. I uh, do not remember what collection this was from. Um, it was from one of them. Um, but yeah, and it is a size small. This next one I have yet to wear anywhere um, and it is a bitch to get into um, but it looks really cool once you can figure out this front bit. So this is a like catsuit like little floppy bits it's just a nice kind of dressy scenario um, but yeah, so it's like a full on catsuit, which is some, I want to feel like wings type of scenario, but it's not. Um, I think this was part of their vampire collection, I think. Um, but yeah, it's, it's this. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get this on to get this particular design going on. So you need to have that triangle part. It's a nightmare. Um, I don't know how many times my head's been stuck. But yeah, it's really, really nice. Uh, I love the feeling of this too. Um, this is a size small, um, so it is quite a nice tight fitting. Um, and yeah, I went for Halloween this year. Okay, so now we're getting into the bit more of the dressy side of the of my collection. Um, as you can see, um, another leopard print moment. Um, so this is a nice little dress. I um, do not remember what collection this one's from, um, but yeah, so it's just a nice little leopard print dress. I wore this for one of my friend's birthdays. Um, there is a little undercoat underneath, um, which is tighter than the actual dress, because um, the dress is actually see-through. Um, but yeah, so it's really, really nice. It has this detailing at the front where you can actually, if you want, you can actually like pull that in if you want. Or pull it out um, there's these details um, the one thing that I struggle with this type of dress is because I'm an aerialist I have very very broad shoulders so I sometimes feel like the Hulk in these type of dresses but it's very very pretty um, I don't even remember what shoes I wore with these I think it might have been just boots yeah it was just boots some just boots and I think I put black stockings underneath so um, just a because it was winter when I wore it. Yeah, it's a nice little thing, a size small. Um, there isn't pockets or anything, but it's got this nice little detailing with the, um, so like kind of like a petticoat detailing. Um, so this one's a bit more of a very dressy um, dress. I think this was also part of their vampire collection, I think. Um, it's a very long dress. Um, I actually wore this to my Christmas party last year um, and the comment I got was Wednesday Adams quite a lot. As you can see, it is see-through, but it does have a built-in bodysuit. So that isn't the bodysuit that I've been wearing, that is a built-in one. Um, this one does have <laughs> clips, so if you do need to pee, at least you don't have to take up the whole dress. It's a nice one sleeve. I've just taken off the strap for my bodysuit so you can get an idea for it. But yes, so if you want a bit of a sexy moment but a bit of a classy moment um, this is the dress for you um, I actually really like this um, it's very flattering because of the bodysuit um, it does suck you in a bit but then you've got a bit of a flowy kind of moment with it so it's actually really nice it's a nice kind of like you could wear it to a cocktail party or you know the black ties without if you want something different um, this next one is one of my favorite dresses um, when I first got this I was totally blown away with the feel of the fabric um, one thing with black milk a lot of it is handmade um, that's why the collections sell out um, this was one of the first dresses that I got like a dress dress um, not one of the skater dresses um, and I was absolutely blown away this is part of their witcher collection the first lot 
and it's just beautiful like it is absolutely beautiful um i wore this me and my best friend did um went to the sunflowers and we did a bit of a photo shoot and this is kind of what i wore um you know stand out in a field of yellow flowers um but it's really really nice um it is a size small again um it's just you've got the underlining which is short and then this is a bit longer so it adds a bit of that detail to it but oh I absolutely love this. It's completely higher back, higher neck, but I, I can't even describe the feeling of them. It's just, I just want to constantly feel myself. It's so beautiful and it feels just so light on you too, but it's not light material. Like it's not, like the top layer is, it's meant to be, but like even this, it's just, you don't feel like you're going to be flushing anyone. Um, but yeah, so this is one okay so next one we have this lovely long fitted dress I cannot remember what collection this one was from um, but I saw it and I was like yes I have to have this I wore this to a high tea so I had just some small little heels on for this one um, this is actually really really thick I always struggle to get into it um, but it's kind of like hard to see but it's a, it's a bit more of a um like it's got I don't know fluff in the middle of it I don't know um but it's a lot thicker um so it helps it gives it a bit more structure because it is thicker um so it definitely cinches you in um and also it's good for winter so you, you know you've got some warmth in the dress um I do like that they're really long um sleeves I do like to cover my hands, so I do enjoy that about them, but you don't have to, you can just roll them up a bit more. Um, I do struggle to get into this again, because areola shoulders, um, but it's really, really nice. Just a nice dress to wear, dinner, high tea, anything like that. Um, like Next we have this lovely dress um i wore this to my best friend's engagement party um so it's actually got a lovely slit there um it is not a bodysuit underneath um so it is the lining is attached to the dress so that way this bit is covered but yet again same old style all this is um see well, see-through I don't know, translucent, I think. I don't know what the word is. Um, but it's really nice. It's got some nice detailing on it. Um, so it's got like roses and it's got some gold. It's actually it's hard to see actually on it, but the um, some of this gold detail is actually reflective. Um, so it's kind of like a glittery reflected on some of these swords and um, crosses. I think this might have been part of the vampire collection. Not a hundred percent sure, but yeah, so it's just a nice dress and yet again, they just, they feel so good. Um, three quarters, um, so it's, and it's cause it's light, it can be, it would be nice for summer too, cause you've got a bit of a flow to it, with a bit of sex appeal. Yes, yeah, so next we just have a skirt. Um, so this is just a plain black, well not plain, um, it's that velvet material. Um, so I've been wanting a black maxi skirt for a while, but I've been very pedantic on what type I wanted. Um, this one's got that nice split on the side. Um, it's a good length. Um, so it does pretty much cover my toes, which I do like. So if I wanted to wear the heels, it's not too short. Um, but yeah, it's that velvet material. I know you can't really see it. In the camera but it is um, it's quite flattering um, it is a size small too um, but yeah so that is that one um, and I have one more skirt after this which I I it's probably one of my favorite that I own yeah. uh, next we have this lovely skirt this is from the witcher collection the first lot this is the trish skirt so it's meant to kind of replicate her um so the first collection is more based off 
The Witcher 3 game and their second collection was more based off the TV series. So this is the um, and to replicate it's it's hard to describe the color because it probably comes up very blue in there but it's this more of an aqua and then the detailing on it it's that felt from felt material for the detailing and it has this reflect can you see how it changes in certain lights so it has that reflective on it um, another thing that has two splits um, and it's actually got built-in um, underwear <laughs> I guess you can say so it's got that same thing where it, you're covered here but it's all see-through everywhere else it's really it's one of my favorite skirts I wear it with a black little crop top that I have um, I, I live in this um, I've actually got my friends to wear it quite a bit too um, it's just just a nice dressy but not over the top dressy it's kind of um, next we have this one um, so this is based off the Witcher collection 2 um, so the one that's more based on the TCV series than the actual game um, I cannot think of the, the gestures name in the TV series but the guy who's meant to be playing um, Dandelion um, so this is kind of meant to be a take off his entire that he wears in the TV series it's a two-piece um, so but you have to buy they come in separates so it doesn't you don't buy it in one outfit it actually is a you buy a separate top and a separate skirt um, but I love the looks of these I love how kind of I don't want to say boho is the word I was gonna say hippie I'm like not hippie boho I love that kind of look um, yet again it has that reflective golden um, detailing um, yet again it's the double split and the built-in underwear um, I, I I love these kind of dresses there's something about them um, that I just I have so many it's ridiculous but yeah so this is it this is a small in both okay now this is the last kind of boho dress that I have it's one of my favorites um, do not remember what collection this one is definitely from um, so it has the slit on the side it has the built-in um, bodysuit with it I think these ones don't have the clip so if you need to go to the toilet you have to take the whole dress off um, it has that detailing um, oh there we go you can see it in the velt again um, and I think it reflects in certain lighting it changes there we go um, that boho kind of look again very very little sleeves I wore this to a Christmas party on a boat so um, I, I like I said I'm obsessed with these kind of looks um, but yeah so that's this one don't remember what collection it was from um, it's also a size small um, so we got four more pieces left including this one um, so you might have seen this um, in a previous video where or have it I don't know if I've actually released it yet you might see it get up, upcoming it's either we it's a, getting posted or it's coming up um, we did a bomb, bottomless brunch um, and I bought this actual outfit um, so I um, have worn this actually twice to pop this brunch. Um, it's a really nice material. It's a two-piece, um, so it's not a full body suit. Same deal. You'd have to buy them separate if you want the full look. Um, you got the uh, lovely boho sleeves. Um, I think it, the just I don't know where collection this was from, but it made a comment about like it's like your grandma's couch kind of material. Um, ain't lying if my grandma's couch like this but it's nice like roses and stuff like that so they're just leggings um they're actually quite um decently thick so they're not see-through or anything like that um but yeah so that's this they're both a size small um yeah so this is a nice little you can make it look like it's a full proper um catsuit piece if you want um or you just have a little bit of skin showing Easy done. My cat's just walked in. Give me a feral. Give me a. Oh. 
my boy. Uh, he doesn't like me picking them up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've got three more. Um, so next we're back to the Care Bear collection. Um, I've been eyeing off this dress for a while and I was able to get it on the sale. So we've gone from the moody <laughs> to bright colours. <laughs> um, so this is similar to that, the Sailor Moon um, dresses that I showed in my previous video. Um, it's their skater um, dresses that they have. Uh, this one doesn't have pockets, but it's the Care Bear. Oh, there we go. All the little Care Bears, nice and bright. It's a nice little summery dress. I cannot wait for summer. I'm over winter already. Um, but yeah, so this is a size small. And again, same deal. They have the adjustable straps. But yeah, we've got two more. And I've Next, we have this lovely jumpsuit moment. It is a jumpsuit, so it is some shorts. It is a sequin <laughs> black jumpsuit. Um, this is a slice small. Um, I find it, my body shape's a bit weird for it. Um, because I've got no <laughs> boobs, I have to like tighten these massively up, but then I have this weird like gapey chew. So hopefully one day when I do get my boobs done, this will f fit a lot better. But um, besides that, it, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. It's just because I am a weird shape up top. Um, but yeah, this is a nice, I wore this to my friend's 30th, um, the theme was black. Um, it, your butt does come out quite a bit, um, so if you don't want your butt to come out, it's probably not the best thing. Um, I can't remember what collection this was from, it's like their night, oh, I can't remember. But, I, I enjoy it, it's a nice like, if you want to go clubbing type of thing, but don't have to worry about flashing anything. Um, I think I wore my mega 90 style black boots with these. So yeah, that is this. This is the last one and this one of my favourites. I got the biggest compliment when I wore this into the city. Me and Shay did a night at Crown um, and I got a lot of compliments on this one. It is a full blue Sorry, my cat's now um, rubbing himself along the tripod. Um, so if it shakes, you know why. Um, uh, a, a mint, like a blue sequin dress. Um, so it's that full sequin. One thing I really, really like about this, it's, you know when you usually get sequin dresses, mm -hmm. they end up itching because they get into your skin. It is fully lined. Oh, let me... Like fully lined and thick so it actually adds a lot of structure to the dress to help it make really fit because it is quite thick um, and I could wear this all night and not feel irritated by the sequins at all um, it does take me a bit to get into the top because like I said I um, can turn into the Hulk sometimes but yeah so it's fully it's a very short number um, but I, I love this. This is actually my favourite thing that I've ever brought. Um, do you not remember what collection it's from? Um, but yeah, so it's a nice, like, girl, well, if you're going to crown, having some cocktails kind of dress. Um, this is also a size small. Um, so yeah. Um, so we're all done. Um, that took a good two hours. Um, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I was thinking of doing a, another video where I might show all the um, Sailor Moon and Pokemon um, stuff that I have through buying at EB, um, JJ's, stuff like that. Um, I think I might do that next. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button um, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'll have all the descriptions of each one in the description box down below. Um, I will note if it's sold out or not. Um, but yeah, so thank you and I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>